Oh, blessed love family, do give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie I. What a joy. You're definitely with us in the nest. This is Chalice Talk, and we're definitely ready, I should say, to take it to another level. I am your host, the Honorable Priest Isaac, and of course, you know that every strong going into the Sabbath, we always gather together for a moment of expression, and this one is known as Chalice Talk. And we're definitely looking to incorporate others into the Chalice Talk. And let me make you understand, when we have our visitors and guests, this is not an interview, it's Chalice Talk. That is why one of the main, one of the main things or, or, or requirement of the Chalice Talk is that you gotta be blazing the chalice. You can't come in with no spliff. You can't come in saying, well, not today, whatever the case is. I mean, we have other programs. I could invite you to the Tiger's Nest. You don't got to be blazing no chalice. And we can talk. I could invite you to mind your own business and you don't got to blaze no chalice. We have other programs we can do. The shock of the hour. You ain't got to blaze no chalice, of course. But when it comes to chalice talk, you definitely are required to pick up the chalwa and let us blaze. But anyway, we have a special chalice talk today. Of course, the reason why we call it Chalice Talk too, because we definitely begin the program by meditating. So the program is a meditation program as such. Of course, everyone is not meditating as such like that. So we always make sure we provide some level of quote unquote entertainment, which is education really, some say edutainment. And what I'm going to be doing today, we're not going to be bringing forward no naya bingi for you as we partake, because what we do, right, if you don't know, when we pack our chalice and I'm already packed up, definitely something from the vineyard. In fact, you're going to see the vineyard in a moment. And when we light off, we hold a meditation. Of course, we don't really do a quiet meditation because, I mean, this is the internet. We are on the screen. Everybody's there. We ain't going to go to no quiet moment. So we, we run the Naya Bingi or something special that allows us to grow in our meditation, and then we get into the reasoning. Now, what I want to show to you, and we're gonna use this for our meditation, is some of what has been taking place thus far for our summer solstice experience. Now, before we go to the depths of it, family, remember that you need to get your chalice. Remember that you need to get your chalwa. This is chalice talk, and for sure, even if you're not going to use it for chalice talk, it would be good once you are a partaker of the meditation, the marijuana, the tree of life. I'm sure that you need your chalice. All you have to do is to contact I, precise at 27 at gmail.com, and we'll definitely ship that to you. And you don't, you already know you could get a different, different varieties of the chalice. Here I have my, my little shooter here not using it for the moment this is a a little shooter here as you can see the difference yeah nice and neat yeah man I'll one shot and it lick you out <laughs> and of course you could also get your steam your steam chalice as well just contact us priest isaac 27 at gmail.com i could send you more information price and otherwise and shipping and all of these different things and of course we will definitely take it to another level. Now, of course, you all know that we are in the middle of the summer solstice experience. We have already passed two days now. Yes, yesterday was the 17th, Thursday the 17th, and we went to the Nyabingi grounds. We were at Ras Freeman. We went through the, the, uh, the Ganja fields, and we had a good reasoning, a good chalice talk. I'm going to give you a bit of that right now, just a bit. And this, this morning's rising now, we had the sunrise hike. Oh yeah, we've been speaking about this for a while, but for sure it came to a fulfillment today and yesterday, and there's one more day left. And that is Sunday when we are going to have what is known as the sunset hike. Now you can still be a part of this, eh? Because even though you missed this morning, you could still see this morning, even though you missed yesterday, you could still see the whole broadcast from yesterday. You could still definitely get your ticket. You could still be a part of it. The only thing is that it won't be live, at least not this morning's hike or this rising hike. And, and what we did yesterday with the Chalice Talk, 
That was a marvelous reasonment. You're going to get a bit of it in a moment. Don't go anywhere. You're going to get a bit of the reasonment in a moment before we go into our reasonment about the mystic powers of King Emmanuel. That's what I want to talk about. But I'm going to give you a clip or a few clips, I should say, a few excerpts from the reasoning that we had yesterday on the summer solstice experience. So you can still be a part of it, family. Trust me, it's worth it. In fact, the little that I'm going to show you right now, I know for sure you will definitely delight in it. So this is what I'm going to do. And before I go too far, let me just ask the family. Eh? Remember all the Tiger's Nest volunteers, all my Tiger volunteers, because we're seeking for some volunteers now. And all I want my volunteers to do, all I want you to do is to share the video. So anytime you see us come on and we have a new video, I mean, I know I have a, I know I have a group of people that respect this work. Trust me, I know I have a group of people that love the vibes. I know I, I have a group of people that wish they could be doing everything that we're doing, even some that may have wanted to be a part of the summer solstice and for one reason or the other, they're not a part of it. Well, listen, the, you can, just a simple thing you can do for I and I, simple. Anytime we give you a video, anytime something comes up, share it. Share it on your public platform. Share it on Facebook. Share it on your own YouTube channel and just share the word. And that, that trust me, that would be enough for me. I would be happy for that. And I would consider you a Tiger's Nest volunteer. All you got to do is to share the video. And I'm telling you, I'm fully blessed, even more than the likes and the thumbs up, but you can still give a like and a thumbs up as well. But anyway, so what we're going to do, family, as usual, we, we, we give reverence to the chalice. So we're going to bless the chalice, and then we go straight into the vibration. What I'm going to show you first, as you would know, we, are, we have been broadcasting this specific equinox or summer solstice using our our, our Facebook channel or our Facebook page, and I'm talking about Rastafari experience Antigua. In fact, yes, let me start here. We've been utilizing our- Everyone, the discussion is taking place. And Rastafari, you even have- Brother, you're moving a little faster than myself. And this is from yesterday. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of what was taking place yesterday. This is myself alongside Ras Naba Dread. And just giving you a little vibes. This is us going through the the uh, the, the field here at Ras Freeman. We have Ras Isaiah. He will be coming into the picture right now. He's the one that is really taking us on the tour. Again, those of you who were with us for the Equinox, you remember the little baby seedlings that were in the ground. Ras Isaiah will be showing you exactly what has been taking place since. In fact, they have actually um, they they have already reaped some of what you saw replanted and just watch man and you'll see what's going on now this is from yesterday's activity at ras freeman i'm talking about the cannabis lecture and tour this is just a bit that i'm giving a seed in it much less to say they have percentage and can have a say and can sit on the board and all of that you know so of course this is why we always stress education this is now now is the time we need the our attorneys and our magistrates and our um our, our, our lawyers and um economists and men of big affairs to handle these kind of big business because this is million dollar business we're talking about here you know, not no play play thing so so rastafari still have to be on the guard you know because the world's still fighting against Rastafari. We can't just get comfortable and say, okay, everything all right now. This is still a war and still a battle. But Rasa Isaiah? Rastafari. You take a job. Yeah, we just yeah. move forward here. See a few of the plants as they are growing. They're in a very young stage. Now I'm just going to bless my chalice here. As you can see, the wind is very strong. Yesterday was an extremely windy day, but of course, we had the professional mics with us. Give thanks to Sister Soldier. Sister, Sh Sister Soldier, pardon me, all female sound, that's Sister Diddy. And she's the one that is doing the camera work. Did a wonderful job. And um, as I said, the professional mics that she brought, you would still hear the wind, but you definitely heard us clearly. Blessed love, this is some green juice, you know, some cannabis sativa juice. 
with um, other herbs, at least six other herbs, seven herbs in all, you know, making up this, this juice where you want to know all the herbs that are in there. Oh man, what we got in there? We got the, um, uh, I can, we got the, we have so many different herbs in this here. We have the plant that they call the African violet. We also have the vervine inside of this. You know, the vervine, very good to remove mucus and these different things. We have a bit of spirulina or spirulina, as some people would call it in this as well. And other herbs and to blend up the, to meet to the, the standard of the seven. We have this, the south sap leaf in here as well. The merengue is in here as well. As I said, seven mighty herbs. And of course the marijuana to give it that blessed touch as we go forward, Rastafari. Mm -hmm. So bless up your chalice with that. Holy Manuel I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari, bless us as we partake of such meditation. Let the black Christ in flesh be praised. King Emmanuel the seventh, Adonai, God, Ja, Rastafari, Lord of the Sabbath. Go ahead, Rasa Isaiah. Most of them are, as we go through, we'll uh, show you a few that is, you know, starting to buds mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well as some young one yes I this is in the eastern part of the plot known as this is Ras Freeman once again yes those who may be just coming in and blessing to all those on the live stream eh? wherever you may be you know um, give thanks to those in Canada in, 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 in Guadeloupe and in, in the US and those right here in Antigua who may be tuned in too, we're so thankful. Yes, brother Isaiah? Yes. Uh, can come through. This is just some of the plants that is looking forward to starting to bud. You see this? This is a sativa fan. Just now starting to bud. You can say it's young, you know, in a stage. Same thing. And these are you sativas. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is the original Antigua sativa. Uh, well, yes, you okay. can say that. Any, yeah. we, we haven't gotten out of that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, rim yet, which mm -hmm. we would love to. Uh, not to simply just get away from our natural breed, but mm -hmm. to improve the quality. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, to improve the quality of the plant. Mm -hmm. You know, so what we do, like exactly what I was saying there, this particular seed here that I have in my hand, we have given it a name. Mm -hmm. We have given yes. it a bread. I get you. Because yes. we got a slip from some other brothers mm -hmm. that was doing some hybrid seed. And we crossed it with one of our regular, mm -hmm. our normal sweet sativas. Mm -hmm. You see? <laughs> we, 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 are named, <laughs> we are named that one, uh, the MV. The, M the envy of the day. Envy yeah, the, the envy of the day. You know, because it grew wild. He came in just before yes, the yes. uh just yeah. before the COVID came COVID, in. Right, right, and so that took us right to I hear the, the COVID mm -hmm. and it was real high. Even though, you know, it was a little seed, it was still very good, you see. And so we had crossed it with one of the hybrid that the the brother right here gave us and uh and let me just say you know the reason why i ask that i think it's an important point when you consider in a time when they you know there's so many different you remember when when you started to partake of the tree of life or smoke herb as they said you know we had the original sativa here in Antigua, yeah. yeah. and and even when grown to the best it still give anything else all right there you have that part of it that's just one aspect of that video let me just give you a little bit more as we go down the line giving you a good idea of where we are this is like a continuation of the same so you see us there so we're looking the there of the field. Yeah. all right we're there once again family okay all right pardon us for that i don't know exactly what happened there but we are on stream once again we are still going through we're with brother isaiah um as i said this might be a different video altogether but it's okay so those who just coming in definitely we're here on the summer solstice experience rastafari experience antigua with you definitely on the eastern side of ras freeman estate you look at beauty here with brother isaiah a few little shots as i said most of these plants are young 
the grain here will start to make them bloom. See a nice, beautiful one right here. Got another little one right in there. Mm -hmm. Now these, by the end of this month, the beautification we get from the little rain, yeah, we strengthen them and they'll open up, start popping real. But I notice, I notice, I hardly see, I don't see any mantra as we call it. We just, you know, well, well, hammock, well. It, it's not the daily work. Right, I was just going to ask if it's a daily or, or, sec, or special them. seeds. Yes, to so get in there and get them out. Because if you don't get them out, they will contaminate mm. most of the plants. Daily so work. as I said, just giving you a quick, you know, look at that, you know, that is up at Ras Freeman, the Rastafari camp. And what I'm going to do right now, as I said, we also had a, a reasonment as it relates to the whole aspect of the cannabis and um, not legalization, but uh, the, the issuing of the license as it relates to the whole aspect of the cannabis running. So we had a wonderful reasoning, the chalice talk we promised you. I'm just gonna give you a clip, uh, an excerpt of the chalice talk. We had brother Iser with us. We had brother Richie, of course, Ras Dre as well. And we have Ras Sila here and Brother Isaiah joined us for that, as well as Brother Mehdi. So while I light off now, let's take in a bit of this before we get into our program, our program self. So you'll full join this. Well, yes, well, as, as a man know, you know, without education. Good question, sister. Yeah. Greetings, I, Isaiah. Isaiah. As a person, pause, they had to go back really the main stakeholder. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, you know, glory to words, glory to sound, and glory to the Holy One of creation, you know. His imperial majesty and pride is yeah. King of kings and lords of lords, you know. Moa Embessa, Yehuda. And her royal highness was here a minute, you know, as for we'll let the judges. Mother and father of creation, King Alpha and Queen Omega, you know. Beginning without end, first and forever. That dual personality, you know. That within the mystic of the ancient Oriental people, you know. Known as the, the, the yin yang, you know. Within a science that centripetal and centrifugal energy. At the right side and the left side of the brain. The two equinox, you know, King Alpha and Queen Omega, you know. And then I said this day is, is a great day, you know. And I give thanks for any of them time, you know, for witness a lot of monumental and historic things that happen. Mostly right in our Dudley, in terms of the cannabis and the industry. As what happened the other day, there is nothing like that they happen nowhere in the world. You know, where, where you have a religious entity, a spiritual entity as Rastafari, a private entity, and a public entity, which is a benefit for everybody within that sphere there, which you religiously Rasta, spiritually, as you know, I and I are the vanguard. And I had a prime mover, and I really had the main stakeholder at this year. And given how the cannabis industry has it ever loaded from one stage to the other stage, to the world, you know, we still have to fight more. Because cannabis is really not legal yet. Even for an export level internationally. You still have certain unilateral and bilateral agreements and laws still in place, you know, that even hamper the fullness of the industry as to how I and I want to see it. You know, a lot of people have a lot of negative to say about this partnership. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, I and I sell out to colonial masters. But. I and I remember his imperial majesty, you know, everything that I and I do, fashion, are for the king of kings. 
Just a little history, you know? Yeah, man, you're good. Go right back to the Italian and Ethiopian war. When we saw the Berlin Conference, when the whole of Europe came together, you know, for part of Africa among themselves, checkerboard and cross Africa into arbitrary borderlines. And Ethiopia was the only left to be, to be part of among these Europeans. And even England, France, all of them fought against His Majesty entering the League of Nations. Even in Ethiopia, one they say, oh, come this king and go among them white people there and all them something question the king, you know. But then my father was doing things internationally upon diplomacy and also prophetical. Because as we know 2,000 years ago, then crucify Rasta, a Jesus Christus. And we saw through that period, to the coming of his imperial majesty. A lot of civilization have been mashed down. You know, a lot of nations conquer. Even the great China, the great Iran. All them nations then under colonial rule, all to Ethiopia. And the same thing they have to do an I king, and the same thing they have to do Rasta. Because them same colonial powers there you now go in Africa and exploit and rob Africa and bomb Ethiopia. And at them same colonial powers, they had to go back into Africa and build back Africa. We all have what England contribute, even up in America, in places like Canada. They all sell help to build back Ethiopia because it is their duty. And His Majesty said, we will intercooperate with all those who wish to share our desire, irrespective of color, race, and creed. Internationally, you don't come from Europe, you could have come from wherever. That's why we know Rastafari, we on a different level than just. When we say blackness, blackness comes past all nations. And King Selassie, I say, because it's not the strength of the oppressor and the weakness of our unity. Why these oppressors were able to overcome we and overrun we and conquer we. What mystical it is that Ethiopia would stood slavery. Yeah. So same with them you have to come and build back bridge, build back this in Ethiopia. So them have to come and build back Rastafari. Right. Right. You see? So I am answer that to say. As an example. As an example, we are following within the footstep of the King of Kings. A man of remember still king. Because we don't know if no, enough people overstand even the agreement that was made, that tripartite agreement and what it's all about. That Rastafari I get 20%. No ones with. 24, you know, not 24, no. 25, 24, and. and and enough ones will say the king clean it up quite well before you know so again trying to make it yeah well now i go to 51 20 yes. 24 no take it yes down, you know, you're good. yeah within other realms likewise Still. you know that Russia and such. what we're saying we now work for no one mm. we'll work with Cause actually rastafari i get some right there and we don't even have to go there go work right right and Man, I first check the. Because enough people don't know about the cannabis industry and what's going on worldwide. Because yeah. we go to Jamaica, Jamaica only get. Rasta only get sacramental rights. Right, right, right. Well, and Rasta don't get no commercial rights. And they just give you sacrament. True, we don't have no money for to set up no medical facility of that standard to meet international standard. So we now say we need investors, we need people to invest among we. Of course. But uh, how we got deal? For instance, that Chai Party Day, imagine 24 and 23. 25 and 24, how much? 49%, right? And 51 are to the investor. Remember that investor have, has all the liabilities. And remember, we are in a time as we saw the changes ecologically within the earth, we are also in a hurricane-prone zone. 
So a lot of liabilities, a lot of risks that they will have to take. Because they are going to be the one economically for bring the money. You of us, we now have no liability right there for face. They are, and the government now portion is to go into education. And for all them people out there, different than Rasta, that get go jail. A lot of youth out there. So we even agitate that even the percentage that be put into education, rehabilitation for the youth. So I and I see that as a perfect model going forward. Because as I and I say, Rasta are the only religious entity that accept cannabis as a sacrament. Yeah, my lad. That for cut today, you know, I pray. But just that point that you touch in there with the um with with um the agitation now that that twenty four percent be put into education and rehabilitation, right? Um I feel that, that you'd have to have more clarity into that too. Because sometimes now, for say further, one Eurocentric education now, since that money you generate from the cannabis and you generate the whole deal you generate from the, the, the strength of Rastafari, so to speak, even mm -hmm. though that the Virgin put in that monetary arm. Mm -hmm investment right me would think now that the type of education that that funds they now should go towards a more afrocentric education with some type of afrocentric education program you know what i mean when we talk about education king not just education about africa we talk about education like even within the cannabis field, even within the medical field also. Because naturally, Virgin, right now, most of the, most of the, the medicines them out there, they are not patented. Is there a reason? Me say, most of the medicines in them out there, they are not patented for black people. They are patented for white people. They are not for us. And knowing within this company, what ones have to know to Virgin, differently than the Virgin that from Antigua, yeah, Andrew Stewart, that is with us, which is Moody Stewart's son, grandson. We have a Virgin named Blaine Dowley, who is also a part of this company. And Professor McCocklin. Professor McCocklin are the number one forensic forensic man in the Caribbean. So when everybody dead, they have to send all the forensic report to, to his office. He's also the professor of genetics. You understand, King? And he's based in Huey. So all them man, they're from Jamaica, same way. And as Rastafari, we don't have to do due diligence. We don't have to know who we deal with and what we are dealing with. And even hygiene like Bridging there for years, King Ivy, 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 yes. Ivy. Bridging that I and I went and lived with in a West Milan in a Jamaica for some weeks, spent some time with him. And then Bridging they came forward upon a conference, the last conference, and the Bridging they applauded us and said, you see that Monday, you are in good hands. They could go to Blaine Dowley now. Blaine Dowley is a man that is recognized internationally when it comes to cannabis. When the superstar singer Chronic was here, Chronic was in our yard, and he met Dowley there. Dowley is a man that agitate. The man they go to jail for Herb King by their own system. By their own system. Make them same, so I'm just a black thing with herb. Kind of people are talking about, oh, we gone back to slave masters, but the whole system in Antigua is under slave masters' pattern because we still are depend from white people for come here as tourists for do a build up economy, ain't it? 
How much are we? That when we get our money, when we go go vacate, enough man now nah, going to Africa. Enough people go to Europe go spend back their money right there. Nobody as radical as Rasta. We are the most radical people. We don't face the oppression of our government and system. It is our time now and we have to move to the time. Like how Ayala Selassie said it. And he said that memories of past injustice should not divert us from the pressing business at hand. And we must live in peace with our former colonizers shunning recrimination and, and bitterness. Else that acid of hatred erode with soul and poison with heart king. Remember the day of proclamation, May 5th, when the king returned. How much Ethiopian did want to kill all the Italian did that murder so much Ethiopian? How much children were placed in a house and burned alive? How much man get mattock and pickaxe? And man did want to take vengeance. And his majesty said, no, today is the day of mercy. Send who want to send woman like who want to build up Ethiopia. Holy Emmanuel I, Celestia I, Ja, Rastafari. So that's the that's that's a bit of the contribution of Rastasila. Everyone you see around the table there, every single person you see around the table there, the Empress and the Princess as well. Everyone contributed to the reasoning and the discussion. Even Sister Diddy behind the camera contributed to such a reasoning. This was the aspect that we refer to as chalice talk and 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 basically. I was, I'll just give you a little preview. It actually stayed on that level for the reasoning. It was a free reasoning and I, I really rose the reasoning up because as you know, that uh, the license, which is what the King Sela was priest, Sela, pardon me, he's a priest of the Nyabingi house, was speaking of is the, um, the, 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 the whole issuing of the license just uh, two days prior to that. Of course, you would have seen that on the channel too, those who definitely, follow up and keep up so we were going into that brother richie uh, and i'm telling you brother richie really gave a superb explanation you know as as it relates to um the whole construct of what ras freeman and um the, the organizations that have been formed and how they are dealing with this uh, on a diplomatic and business level, you know. So it was a, it, it, I mean, it was a marvelous exchange, real touching. As I'm even saying that, you know, I could actually, you know, emotional. Really, I tell you, you know, it was a real loving exchange. Uh, but that's just a bit of it. Now you could just see the the, the times, the time frame there. That's an hour and forty five minutes, and that's just a a, a chunk out of the full day's proceedings, because remember we had to go to the Ganja field and we saw the, the, the putting in of the seeds and many different things. And even I could even show you, um, I know of the prince or princess, just pass that Ganja oil there for you, please. And, and you know, the making, well, we didn't see the making the, the Ganja oil by the, by the laptop there. We didn't see the, um, right, the making specifically of the oil, but you know, the whole aspect of even the licensing now uh, goes into the medical marijuana aspect as they refer to it as and uh, Ras Ritchie really goes into it in detail those who were there with us and as you can see it's still there this this specific one is being uh, broadcast using his Facebook here yeah, this one is the Facebook I think there and one or two other platforms. I'm not actually behind about the scenes of all of that still, I must tell you. Eh? But uh, give thanks to Sister Soldiers and such works and um, all what she has done. All right, so I, I want to give you a bit of what, I mean, we can't go on this all day. Eh? As I said, the package is still available. Really, it, it's much more than, than this. This is just a very warm part of it. I'm sure anyone that was there with us could agree with, her, with that. That was yesterday. This is the chalice. That was the chalice talk, and we also had the cannabis tour and lecture. And you just got a snippet of um, each of them, but very wonderful, very very wonderful, touching and deep. This morning also, 
very aligning, I should say, when we passed through the gate. So this morning was the, the uprising hike. Let us just give you a touch of that. So this is specifically on the Facebook page. You have some comments that were there. This Facebook page is uh, created by Rastafari Experience Antigua. And Press Judah was there giving thanks for Rastafari. Blessing love giving thanks for Rastafari and these different things. All right. And uh, yeah, this is this morning now. Uh, uprising, you know, because you know, morning, eh? It's Charlie's talk. So I hope those who are with us, I hope you came to spend some time with us, you know. As I said, this is a, a, a special program where we just meditate and flow. We don't necessarily have no slides or anything, no direct subject at times, but it's Charlie's talk and we do it going into the Sabbath. Um, I see the introduction is taking most of the program, but I'm sure you are full joy in what you're seeing. This is not necessarily what we had in mind, but again, it's chalice talk, you know? So all of what I just showed you a moment ago, that was really the plan, but it's chalice talk. And I could feel that, like, you know, you you could have felt the, the, the reasoning going through. But um, as I said, this is the summer solstice program that I'm sharing with you. It's not even my program as such. Eh? It belongs to Rastafari Experience Antigua. So I myself must be very diligent in even the amount that I share, real thing. Because as you heard Rasila speaking, we have to look at this thing on a business level now. I see we like we afraid of business. We afraid business. I don't know what it is, why we afraid money so, and, and, and economics. And maybe that's the problem. We confuse economics and finance and money and think they are the same thing. No, they, they're different, man. Far different, but still related in some some ways but anyway let me this is this rising this today friday the the uh what's today the 18th day of of june and um and even while we were on the tour because personally i was up on the hill um earlier than the crew so i already was doing some some studying and alignments you know and the equinox stone myself the prince and the princess so we were there when the sun came up and so we could measure the shadows and see you know what was aligning with what so it was a very wonderful um, um spectacle we discovered a few new beds because i'm telling you the, the hill is large the hill is wide so let me just give you this piece here and uh give thanks for being with us here in chalice talk so this 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 rising we had we had ras richie with us he returned with us um we had uh, himself his empress we had uh, uh ras jaman with us and some other guests who the honorable ras brought up i i didn't even actually get introduced to them officially but it was all blessed plus all of you who were with us all right okay make a, make a way, yes 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 so as very structured megalithic rock foundation i would like to highlight this before i even go too far you know this this is very very telling because there is a um there's a constellation in the the northern heavens they call the big dipper not the little dipper and the big dipper is connected with a a ceremony in ancient egypt that they call the opening of the mouth ceremony and what the opening of the mouth ceremony is is that when the the emperor the the pharaoh if you want to call it of egypt or the king of kemet would have passed on you would see a picture of him and and one of the gods amun or osiris or one of them and he'd have a specific um structure in his hand that is represented by the big dipper which the king would open in his mouth and he's like it feeds him ever living life so but what i'm saying when this structure here looks very much close to what is known as the Olmec head. I know a lot of you know what the Olmec head is. If you look good at the indentation, you see the nose and the face, the forehead, and his mouth is open. This is the very same way 
that the opening of the mouth ceremony looks and interesting again when you look it from this direction say i'm the one performing the opening of the mouth ceremony it's actually again alignments we're talking about it actually aligns with the big dipper from here because it's due north and again but the big dipper also is a circumpolar constellation so what is happening here now remember you know i'm not making this up in ancient time the opening of the mouth ceremony was connected with the big dipper and here you have a natural opening of the mouth ceremony taking place here you see the face in the rock and his mouth is open look it right here just like how we see it on the wall and interestingly archaeologically or astronomically you could just use your hand and do it it's actually to the north which is that's the same area you may not see the star now the constellation but that's the same area that the big dipper constellation is in so so th th this is why we're bringing it on this level you know to 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 root in how deep the science of this little hill is you know and you could imagine it's just chicken feeds you're getting because there's so much bush up here there's so many things that has never even been seen so the, it's a live energy field we have here in the in the middle of this little land uh, that they, that is called Antigua. Because as I said again, just for those who just stepped in, this represents the opening of the mouth ceremony. Is the ceremony that when a, a king pass on, um, you see it on the Egyptian wall. You see the king's mouth open, and they're feeding him with a specific type of instrument, and the instrument is said to represent the Big Dipper. So this is the ceremony here. You see the mouth open and it is aligned with the Big Dipper naturally. Yes, I look like somebody tried to break off a part. I don't know how behind here look. But yeah, let's continue to go in to the eternal city. And, and you, okay. So the king on a natural seat here. This is another natural, natural, natural seat that you know again is all about where the sun is setting and what you're observing up here is an ob observatory be careful as you come through and ten commandments oh, hello <laughs> where, where is, um, oh ten commandments so this must be mount sinai you see the ten you know the tablets and we are at the top of the eternal city. Well, when you, you can come, see the alignment see with the same thrones that we just left from a moment ago, as we observe the rising of the sun. Yes, I look so far, Rasdre. We just left. Let me just show you there. You know. And we are at the top of the eternal city. Ah, uh, see the pyramids there again. Well, I'm sure you've been scoping them out. These are. And, and 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 the same way that you have certain alignments we did a whole program a few a few uh, strongs ago or was it previous strong when it go last week well yeah last week good because that's the last week you know more week coming after that strong from now on from lowlands to highlands but the same way the sun be set in between kappa and uh menkara and kufu you got that same kind of vibes through these mountains depending from the angle like for example this is an angle by itself you know but there's certain key angles like by the vulva the vulva is a key angle so some deep 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 science that is very 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 telling and that's why we were doing programs leading up to this time you know for going up to green castle in fact let me give you just a bit more i heard me bringing rasdre let me just see what you can see the alignment with the same thrones that we just left we from a moment ago as we observe the rising of the sun yes i look so far rasdre yes i family and so as you see yeah. the view from up here is where you get a nice 360 The, the honorable piece is saying they have the alignment with up here okay. and where we were at the throne so even if you look down from here and you see the thrones now you can imagine if some ceremony uh, a play 
uh, some type of activity was being done up here, let's say, as entertainment then. You know, uh, something that you, you're spectating. Sitting at the throne would just be like a, a perfect vantage point if you were ever carrying on up here, you know. And even then you look how the other stones are set out now. You can see like you have like the throne with that that's the special box and then you have a little cluster at the side that they may be like the second highest stage it's true. and then you have a little piece here and all the other rocks now in front like a bleachers or something you know perfect alignment yeah so all these alignments on this hill have the reason and it's all natural now in the trophy let me just show you had, to you can imagine family. if i'll be coming out of this realm now for a moment but i just want to show you something still as family I don't know if you notice as the camera goes around, if you've been taking you all of this is seawater. So if you 360 from this little hill, and this is a very, this is just about 700 feet high. You could see some mounds in the distance that would be higher than it. In fact, it's in between. When you watch the whole video, you'll see the Sharkley Mountains, real gigantic mountains in the background in the south. Greencastle Hill is a little hill, you know, but yet still from Greencastle Hill, you'll notice you can see all around and it's all water you're seeing. I'm just showing those of you who may not live on um, an island then as such, because sometimes a culture and where you grow up, the mind is fashioned, you know, so to, to, to see all around you is just water. It's a mystic vibration, you understand. The only place you would not see it is looking to the south, because as I said, in the south, there are some, some, some higher mountains that would block the view. But if they weren't there, you would be able to look all around <laughs> from the top of Greencastle Hill. And this is not even the top. This is just, um, this is just uh, maybe halfway going up to the Greencastle Hill. So that was very wonderful. So the experience is still there, my family. You know, I would advise that, as I said, you take the package. The package is still there. It's not too late for those who have been wandering. You know, it's just that there are those who were with us live as we were going through with this at the same time. And even yesterday, if you notice what you have just received, you got statical and, and churchical and spiritual and governmental, all of that you got a moment ago. And, and churchical, you'll be getting more churchical on Sunday. So you still have an opportunity to be there live on Sunday. I mean, it's, everything is live, you know. We ain't got nothing dead here, you know, but you know what we mean. <laughs> this is live still. It's still live. What do you mean not live? So what it is, it's still live. We ain't got nothing that's not live. Everything is live. It's always live. Yeah. Don't try to kind of dead talk on us. That's how English is. Eh? Oh, that is not live. Yeah. What do you mean it's not live? Don't put no spell on me. Eh? <laughs> That's what words are about. Spell. You have to spell words, don't you? Yeah, talking about it's not live. It's live. But you know what I'm talking about. So so be there live on, on Sunday. We start at um at 3 p.m. We definitely kick up. No, no, we'll be starting at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 3 p.m. is when we'll be gathering in. And um definitely that will be about a three hour session. That's going to be a real session. I'm telling you, as I said, you, if you notice what you got a moment ago, governmental business talking about not just legalization of marijuana, but industry now on the industrial levels. Yes, I'm sure many ones have their own opinion on it, but I'm telling you that discussion that we had yesterday would at least balance your thinking on exactly what is taking place in a, uh, in a very unique place. That is Anu ancient and modern and then at the same time as i said going through to see exactly the works and what you saw there with brother isaiah i will tell you straight off you really didn't see anything as such there and though some of you may say wow yeah yeah that's just a little touch of the ear that's in the rastafari community you know and and and, and that's a little mound within itself not a hill as such but a little mound so you have its valleys and so there's much more in the valley and and, and security top security you know play around thing i just gotta say that's really what it is but so you know at least they can yeah so 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 really you notice and then at the same time you're getting the 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 science of green castle hill you can see for yourself just the distance and and you know this is why you have to keep in mind the programs that we have done 
you see the programs that we have done really leading up to this uh, like when we spoke about the pyramids and you have to keep in mind even at certain megalithic sites the background plays a very important point or part i should say the hills in the back and, and very important part they have certain places um, even even in in greece where they built the pantheon and these places some of these ancient temples in greece have been aligned or been built to to align themselves with the sun uh setting on the top of a specific mountain in in the distance on a specific day so it looks like the sun is actually sitting on the mountain when you look through when you look through like the western uh, part of the temple there if you look through the eastern part it may be aligned to 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 align itself with a little peak as well it was built that way so you get this same sort of imagery here on green castle hill too but this is a natural a natural expression because none of these rocks you know nobody came and placed any of them there they all naturally protrude out of the earth you know and and yeah definitely coming out of the ground and still creating this science you saw for yourself the opening of the mouth ceremony can you imagine that the opening of the mouth ceremony that's a very serious thing you know one of these times we could speak about it in a little more depth in fact i might do a little clip with this alone and 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 post it up and show you where they they use the symbol or the instrument that looks like the big dipper and how the big dippers rotation in the in the north circumpolar star would align with the Olmec head doing this ceremony. And you can see it's the, the Olmec figure, the nose and the head structure and everything, mouth wide open. So give thanks for such a meditation and um, give thanks for that blessed day, which was today. So Sunday for sure, family, I mean, you should still be a part of it, man. This is something that you should definitely take advantage of, you know, bringing the family and sitting it's going to be a, a, a real festive event on Sunday. We have the Griot Paddy Simon with us. He'll be going into the depths of the history of the area. Oh, man. Yeah, and you see, you need this morning too. This morning was a class, a serious class. You know, this morning here, this rising. The, the, the reason we don't like to say too much a morning, eh? this is Charlie Stark, so we can sway the conversation. The reason we don't like into the too much a morning thing is because in reality, before time, at least around here, I know that's for sure, they used to bury dead in the morning. That's the morning time they used to bury dead. Yeah, in somebody else's culture that come in, at least for these people around here, and they start buried dead in the afternoon, you know, and Saturday time and all that kind of thing. People had passed on for those who get offended by the dead dog. People had passed on him. So they would bury the, the the remains in the morning, what you call morning. So as if again, Henglish, it, it's not live. It's, it's not live, no, it's not live. Henglish. So morning now. Morning, as you can see, morning is a staple. I mean, the rising of the sun and the beginning of the day don't they don't need morning. Is somehow it's just we attach that to it. Good morning and morning and yeah. Morning is really the word morning. You know, the time to bury the dead. And somehow the authors and the constructors of the language that we have tongued, yeah, they're the ones that put it together because remember, words are swords. Words are swords, you know. That's why you spell the words again. You take, you take, you take the S from the beginning of sword and put it at the end, you get words, because words are sword. Just like Christ said, he come with a two-edged sword in his mouth. What kind of sword? The words to smite the wicked. So they know how to play with the words. That's why Rastafari come and change up enough words. You know, enough things get changed instead of us is I and I and understand and overstand and understand and it's because of the construct of the words, the swords, the spells. It's a strange thing, you know, you start with a letter, A, B, and C, that's a letter, you know, yeah. And, and you put letters together and you get words, yeah. You put words together, you get a sentence. You check them words, that you know, sentence, a right? nice thing. Anyway, you put the words together, you get a sentence. You put the sentence together, you get 
a paragraph. You put some paragraphs together, maybe an address and a sincerely yours, and you get a, a letter. So you start with a letter. Because the first word is a letter, you know, even if it's how are you? The first letter is H, and then the next letter is O, and W is how. How are you? And then you use these letters and you write a letter. I wonder if you, you use these letters and you write a letter. I mean, it's a language. Bond does teach enough of them talking. Still, how they put words together and just have you confused and up and down, really. So, so it's a serious science, you know, that's really what I'm saying in everything and, and all understanding and all doing and saying. So we just have to check even that. So even the words is power and, and what you utter from your mouth and how things go down and, and the strength that you, you, you put to it. So yes, they, 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 they dead as such are the morning. That's really the point I was making, just showing you how on another level, the emphasis that is put in words. Henglish, you know, Henglish, the H is, uh, I like to say the H is silent. Henglish, that's why a lot of letters are silent. You know, that silent thing is a killer. Eh? This letter silent and that letter silent. What kind of science is that? <laughs> Teach you to spell one way and then phonics, you know. Phonics alone is a mis is a P and H. P and H is f G and H is f to you know. Huh? Yeah, man. Just spell cough. Cough. C O U G H. Laugh L A U G H. Laugh. When you teach someone to spell by letters and their sounds, they can't spell no laugh. The, the brain has to be, you have to be, the brain has to come in tune to know that laugh is not spelled like how it sounds. That's why when you give a, a, a person a word to spell, a young child a word to spell, a certain word like, uh, like, like uh, I don't even know how to say it. Some word, you know, a word like, like pneumonia. I think pneumonia begin with a, a period. I think I could be wrong, but wow. But anyway, you can see maybe I can't spell. Huh? It begins with P. P. Yeah. All right. See the princess catch you see me. Yeah, yeah, pneumonia begins with P. Right. What I'm saying, if you ask a person that is well, that they understand their phonics well, they really understand their phonics well. And you say spell pneumonia, and they never come across the word, they may start with an N because of how you teach them to spell. You take someone that may have been well read or just maybe observe it and it stick with them to start spell that with a P. You get what I'm saying. So, so Henglish is a funny thing. The H is silent. Henglish. From Hengland? Oh, Hengland is right, boy, I tell you. But anyway, yeah, just showing you the vibe. So, you know, you could still contact I and I, definitely. PriestIsaac27 at gmail.com. Free size at 27 at gmail.com. Definitely your payments. You can still make your payments as you could obviously see the levels that this is on it. You can still make your payments um, using the cash app at Unra. In fact, you should do that now before you forget it. So we're going into a next meditation. Now this is Charlie's talk. So you should do that before you forget at Unra. In fact, we're going to put the link as always in the description below at Unra. 2723. That's Cash App. And those who not click in the Cash App vibes, you should email me and we show you exactly how we make that trans transfer so we can make sure you get your pass early. You say no jokes on they're gonna be terrible. So you should email me right now. Because even when you send that cash app, you should make sure you email me as well and let me know. This is what has been done. Let me give you your key. It's done available. It's now you want it. You, know, you can watch everything we were watching now, 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 you know. Now from you link I and you say, um, um, hey, um, I want to be a part of the, the Equinox. And we make the transaction and I give you your key. You come in and all, why you think I watching this? Because I have the key. <laughs> all that has been done is already there. So you can you could listen to the whole reasoning we were just listening to a moment ago with Rasila and 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 Bongo Richie and myself and Hempers and, and Rastri and everyone else that was that was right there. You know, Isaiah, Princess Akesha, many, many, and Rasmedi, somebody else there, and Icern, 
and yeah, very, very rich uh, resume. So just contact me, precisor27 at gmail.com if you don't have the cash app available. And even if you do, after you make that transaction, please contact me and we scale that and balance that. And I give you your key right away and you full joy the rest of this. Now, what we were speaking about is, and of course, you'll be joining us live on Sunday. <laughs> of course we'll be live. <laughs> what else would we be? <laughs> yeah. And we'll send, we'll send you the itinerary as well so you know when the next event starts and everything. All right. And, and we have some extra time for Sunday because of a little mishap on this day as far as timing. Wonderful. All right. So, so we are... Uh, we said we were going to reason on the mystics, the mystic, uh, trying to get out of this one here, the mystic powers of King Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. So we have Joel Bal Bal Balacho, always a joy and a blessing. All right, give thanks, man, for the comments there. Rastafari experience in Tika. Yeah. We said we were going to reason about the, 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 the the mystics of King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. And the mystic powers of King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, really. All right. And I decided now that what I wanted to do, really, in fact, is just something I wanted to show to the family, you know. That, that's really what it is. But, but in, in reality, now, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm an individual. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, you know, I'm always ready to know about my father, especially if I could get it from first hand account. You understand? Definitely. I, I, I from what you call the primary source. And the bit that I have taken in at this time. There's a lot of mystic vibration about King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. Now, in my case, for sure, it's not necessarily a case where, you know, you needed to, like, you know, Thomas had to put his hand in the wounds and all of that. No, no. I could definitely testify to that, you know? Um, so much so that I, I always have a, like a fuzzy page in my mind of exactly when I accepted King Emmanuel as such. You know, I could give you the exact date, I accept the emperor, you know. And, and in a sense, I know I accept it before that, you know, because I never, I never had an aggression against it. I was seeking for the most high, that was really what it is. You know, I tell this story over and over again. And, and I'm, I'm sure when you listen to it, you hear it sound the exact same. Guys, you know, he's under heart and, you know, seeking for the most high and come across different ones, different reasons. And even the same Ras Mike there, you see, we did the interview with, you know, longing to do an interview with Ras Pinky Mike for sure. And um, different ones showing us or showing me and us, I hope you know one really at the time, that, you know, Haile Selassie and the Bible, etc. You know, there was a a work I was doing at a lumber yard, some brethren's day, brethren clock and, and art and these ones, of course, King Seiko and showing me, you know, like Jack put me around three Rasta man to work with it. <laughs> so last year, you know, and, and, and Garnet Silk, you know, played a strong uh, part in inspiring I, you know, coming in that time and finding the king, king himself, you know, Haile Selassie. The first, and this was even before, you know, not measuring up to the one, you know, but this is even before the sizzler, you know, I mean, time and all of that still, you know, because sizzler and cable down a lot of ones spice up and wrap up to that, you know, which is great. Not wrong. I mean, hey, not only not wrong, glorify man, watch that and glorify whoever turned back it all right. I don't mean to think if thanks who stay on and got a spark from that, you man. Rastafari, give thanks, yeah. 
you know. But I just showing you that that even when that wave began, you know, man did already accept Rastafari. And as I said, still, you know, it, it's as if because King Emmanuel now specifically, I always recall as a youth seeing a picture, the same picture in the Black Supremacy at the beginning of the Black Supremacy Day. The same, you know, you know, looking straight at you. And that was a uh, 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 fan that the Honorable Priest Kushiba had, you know? Yeah, and this, even this video I have queued up here, this is from the, the channel S and Crump. You see how the scene were? Yeah, I still would have give props to the channel still, you know, but the Honorable Priest Kushiba, Yes, I said, said channel we talking about here. Yeah, at the time I never even know him. I never know nothing about Rasta. Nothing, nothing, not even close. I know Haile Selassie. I just know, I just know my mother said that if it's one thing she telling me, she don't want me to turn on Rasta. I don't even know where that come from. That was a long time. I, I don't know what it is she saw. I, did, I, did, <laughs> I didn't even have no interest. I was I didn't feel it that, that I know of. To come no Rasta, I don't know what she tell me that. I was smoking not knowing how we were getting there. <laughs> they just bring that out. I can clearly remember when she tell me so where I was. Well, then, okay. Okay, no problem. At the time, no problem. You check it. But anyway, I just saying that so priest, the honorable priest Kushiba, you know, his boss. Um well, he's a boss, I remember. Eh? I remember clearly outside of it was on a street, they called St. Mary's Street outside of a bank, they called ACB Bank. And at that time, I know from now knowing him, he would have been doing a lot of arts and crafts and these things. And he had a picture of King Emmanuel right there on the, on the window. The same picture there. And I stand up and what? oh my. That's the yeah. I stand up and watch that, eh? As a youth, man, I, I, I can never really get exactly the age, but it was nothing too high, like nine or something. As, as a youth, you know, I, I always move around, around for earlier, just going to errands for my mother in the town early, early as a youth. Go and do her shopping and come at nine, 10, 11, yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. So I remember that day. Watching the picture, watching the picture. Oh my! Yeah, I gotta move. I can't stop talking about that forever, man. I just, I'll, 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 I'll break down in front of you, man. So anyway, uh, <laughs> where am I now? Wow, 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 wow! What was that about? So yeah, the honorable King Emmanuel. So yeah, so really differently now, of course, journalistically gathering all the knowledge and information, you find that the man is a, a real terrible man in the earth. You know what I mean? Even differently than the black Christ thing and so, you know, terrible, terrible man. You don't have to even, you don't even have to talk about that. That's, you don't even bring that in the conversation. You don't have to bring in a Bible and who this and no, it's not necessary. Just check the man. Remember the last proper Charlie talk we did here we were talking about the crucifixion at the Black Christ, isn't it? King Emmanuel Charles Edwards. And, and whether you think of any Black Christ God, anything you could see as a man, is a human being, the history done set, nothing you can come and change. The, the thing that he went through is almost um, um, unhuman like to go through the certain the levels of, 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 of even punishment that King Emmanuel go through. And then the other mystic vibration about the man that is real, that just stand out. You hear a man like Priest Doggy, the Honorable Priest Doggy come and, and, and speak so much mystics of, of, of his time. And you know, the Honorable Priest Doggy is a straight up man. Even when he comes to the Congress, if he have think that something he don't, don't agree with, it don't seem to me like he holding it back. You know, so I don't see no reason he gonna come and preach up nothing for me. You know, I even asked the honorable priest Doggy about the whirlwind. Everybody know of the great whirlwind when they said they were burying the honorable King Emmanuel. You know of that story there. We talk about that. You know, 
again, a lot of ones don't like them discussion there, but chalice talk, you know, and, and, and I mean, I wasn't there. I, 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 I wasn't there at all. Them times I was seeking, almost getting it, that same time there, but I wasn't there for sure. But what I'm saying now is that the honorable, well, everyone, everyone, everyone that was there that I ever talked to, every single person that was there that I ever speak to. It's only that I can't recall speaking to anyone that is not Bobo Shanti. But everyone speak about this magnificent whirlwind. Even people that wasn't there and they were down the hill talk about seeing the world and everybody and who who couldn't see anything and don't keep brain and people say the video after the man them done video, nothing on the video, everything blank. I hear so many stories about this firsthand. The honorable priest Dougie is the only person as Bobo Shanti that was there that I ever hear say. Yeah, he can't remember that. <laughs> he can go there. And, and I mean, I, I mean, I, as I said, I wasn't there, but, but I, I definitely, I don't use the term believe just because I wasn't there. But I definitely believe that. Man. I don't know what went over the priest's head there, but I definitely um, aligned myself with that, that so-called story because King Emmanuel is a mystic being. But what I was saying now, is that the very same honorable priest Doug um, talk about the mystics of when the king light the fire and even even the four fire around the four corners of the tabernacle that burned for months and just never being never going down. Yeah, yeah, man. He speak about the gathering of the elders. Remember that and. And then the elders were supposed to come. And I've heard, even from the time he gave that story, the honorable priest Jaman gave me that very same story as well. Oh, my, I tell you, this is how you know when you can, you know, when you can, as I say, a testimony of, of two and three, or witness of two and three, speaking about when, after they had a big, big meeting, you know, in the camp, that's the same meeting that we speak about when King Emmanuel said, that when the bingy man them come, do not trouble them with their red down and whatever, and, and with their tam and all of these different things. He said, don't worry with flag, none of these things, because they were trying to form a unity. But anyway, after they reason, according to what priest Jaman tell me now, because his story is still a little different, but you know how it is with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But Ones were supposed to, they came to a decision that, okay, we have to come in one under on one. And King Emmanuel said, well, listen, man, we have a whole campus up here that we can do what we're doing and the thing running and every man, all the different houses, this is what I get from the elders. All the different houses says, hey, well, yeah, man, we gonna come back at this day and whatever. Um, I think Priest Doug, you say, yeah, they were supposed to come back for an, uh, 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 one more unity conference, however it may waver. But the point is they never came back. That's the point, they never came back. And remember Priest Doug, he said that uh, King Emmanuel was on his veranda for hours, just staring out at the sea. And every man, everything done prepared, food cooked, and everything in whites and table set and, and, and ready waiting for the whole Rasta house to come and nobody show up. And I always found that mystic. I always say, how nobody show up? We mean all the houses, what they do? Plan together and say, hey, no, we're not going up there. No. I mean, that's a real mystic thing. But anyway, nobody show up. And priest, though you say the father stand up on that veranda until a dark cloud set over the sea and just come over the hill, lightning and thunder. And I think he said he flood out some part of Jamaica and something, and some big thing happened. But you can go and watch the video, the priest, the, the interview I did with the Honorable Priest Dougie. You should go and watch that video, the interview with Honorable Priest Dougie, and you get it from his mouth exactly how that story goes. But, but I mean, you have a myriad of, of these, these, these events as it relates to King Emmanuel. And the reason why I pick out that, eh, because I will tell you that I'm some man that will pretty up things that kind of fix it up, I, I don't know why. But for my vibes, 
the honorable priest Dougie is a man. That's why even when I asked him about the world, when you know, if you listen to that program, good. Me and him never talk about that. But true, I know his spirit and how he stay. I asked him in a way like, okay, my lord, I know you're a man that's straight up, and if if it's not so, it's not gonna sound. You're gonna tell me straight how it go. I don't know why, because I I I I I I felt that you know I gonna get a different answer here. Hey, hey, the king said, "Look, my lord, I don't know nothing about that." <laughs> You know, but yet still he can testify. He just don't know nothing about that. Straight up, I don't know any, anything. Maybe every man just doesn't see, but he can testify of the mystics of the black Christ. You know, Priest Bob gave me a story once, saying that the black Christ. Uh, this is in the sixties, and they were coming from. They were moving from uh this is uh, this is after the burn on Bakawal. This is after the burn on Bakawal. And uh our bulldoze Bakawal. This is 67. I might be a little rusty here, but I remember I remember the whole conversation. So he said he clearly said that they had everything packed up like on the other side of the road or whatever it is. And they stayed out there for the night, father in a chair and man just there and Empresses and whatever, and the bulldozer must have worked it through the night or whatever. And the next day, they moved to another camp, which I think was already there. And yeah, that camp was already there. And like the police, they were following them, like in the car, but they were moving, like in single file, neatly and everything. So, Priest Bobby, you know, tell me, Prince Emmanuel went somewhere else, he, he, he tell the ones and well, y'all go to the camp. I think the place name was something with Rose, Rose Hill, something like that. And he said, y'all go to the camp, that camp there. And he gonna meet them. So he said, when they went, the bridge in them, that they greet them and they tell, they, they telling them, well, what happened and where the father gone, X, Y, Z, uh, A, B, C. So all uh, the evening coming now, this is the honorable priest Bob telling me this story. He said the evening coming now, now. The King Emmanuel don't come yet. And the police got to remember the police follow them. And he said the night the police them surrounding the camp. I remember this is a camp, you know, a Rasta camp again. The next camp the man have somewhere else. You know, we always talk about the bulldoze, this and bulldoze that. But the man had a next camp done set up somewhere else. And the deer, according to the elders, rendition. So he say. The police know that the, the head of the squad come and hit on the door, pop, 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 pop. And when the guard, the royal guard, opened the door, he said, he needed to talk to the leader. And he said, the same time the man saying so, King Emmanuel coming out of the kitchen. Clearly, say he had on a green robe. I think it would have been a green turban to him, but I'm sure about the green robe part. So it may have been all green, but he said he had on a green robe coming out of the kitchen. And he went. And uh, go outside the gates and reasoning to the police. He said, after a while, the police just start uh, beat himself with his own riot button. That man watching one another, never seen nothing like that. Even police and so stop, you know, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And he just, they just end up driving away. This is an accomplice of an elder, and all the above of them know. The honorable priest Bob, you know. Now, I mean, to 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 some some of these things might sound a little off and we off, but then again, now that program we did that entitled the crucifixion of King Emmanuel. If a bubble was to tell you all the story there, or even if me alone was to just tell you those stories, you know, you would be boy, well, then bubble can make them think, well, who, who can bang anybody? So anybody can get them kind of licks there. And no bone broken, anything can go so That's what you would say. You would say, boy, any ambulance will carry anybody to any morgue and they're still alive. You believe them man with them foolishness, they them bubba always making up something. And yeah, you would say so. But through some high ranking bingy elder say, yeah, man, I was there. <laughs> Beat him to a pulp. <laughs> High historian, professor, 
Yeah. Never seen nobody get blows like that. Again, well, I'm sure you've seen it, but if you haven't seen it, revisit the, the previous chalice talk, which is which is the crucifixion of King Emmanuel or Prince Emmanuel, I think we use. Yeah. Yeah. He Prince Emmanuel gets some beat in it. What go I tell you? <laughs> That's bongo <bumper> water. <laughs> Yeah, so 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 if if we did say it, uh, you know, yeah, because the man is a mystic man. So a lot of what we say that maybe others never witness. That man we said, boy, them is make up thing, boy. Who boy? Who what King Haile Selassie visit? And that man that was there that would tell you about the visit, the the special visit that I hear ones arguing about over even the internet. You know, the same priest Bob. Priest Bob tell me that story twice, several years apart. Very similar story. You know, add a few things there into it, but who can remember everything one time? And that, that was a big and grand event. You know? And that was deep, even before the emperor come and come at the gate. King Emmanuel done say, uh, uh, pardon him, and he went upstairs. He say, when King Emmanuel coming down, he was buttoning the last button on his black robe when the not came at the door, you know. So it is a deep vibes, the, the mystic with the man and, and many other things. Even, even as it relates to the whole aspect of the starting of the faith, you know. King Emmanuel said that he got the call while he was on a third story. The ones of them know that 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 story there, full story. King Emmanuel was on the, the, the third story up at up Park Camp, it was, and he was painting something of the sort. But anyway, I know for sure he get lick off of a ladder. He himself talk about that. And and, and it's something I'm going to share with this video I have, okay? Don't worry. I just prime in it for you. So anyway, he fall off of the ladder now. And they say when he fall off of the ladder, they say that, the ones them that were either working with him or working around him. This is, I, I think, in 90, the early 1940s. You know, they, they say they run around the building because they thought he was dead. They come to say, boy, he half the dead. He fell from so high. And they say when they came around, he was just dusting off himself. Now, again, with the testimony that we get from them elders, you know, them things is not hard for anybody to believe it. Eh? I mean, for me alone, you don't need the testimony because King Emmanuel said that. King Emmanuel is not no, known as no liar. You understand that for sure. If you want, if you understand the man good, you know, as far as an elder, I don't want this nobody. You know. But even when they were talking, when the woman was talking about um, Brother God, and, you know, you know I go too far, but King Emmanuel is a man, real spotless lamb. No disrespect to none of the empresses, them that come amongst him. Real holy being, you know, real holy being, man. Man must stop, you know, confederate themselves together to, to black old Boba Shanti, man. Real holy being, man. King Emmanuel VII, Adonai God, yeah, Rastafari, right? and the order that the man set down, real crisp, real clean, real shine. Give thanks for all the INF that keep up this thing here. Both man and woman and little ones. Enough respect eh? from me personally. Enough, enough respect to anybody that keep up this vibes here. Whether you're perfect or not, you check it. We all trying. Holy man, you will lie. Selassie, Ja, Rastafari. Right. So what I'm saying still now, that it's not just the mystics, but the mystics is just a natural thing. Ain't no mistake, you know. It's just a natural thing. The not remember the time that they come and arrest. Um, I think it's 12 Bobo and King Emmanuel. A whole squad of police come up the hill and arrest King Emmanuel and about 12 other Bobo. And they coming down the hill now with King Emmanuel. You know, what a joke it all. And the man is that. They say they have two outright, uh, not the outriders. They have two police. This is the real story now. So you have to go and research and get it good. Eh? 
real thing this is, you know. So if you know Bobo Shanti Hill, you're coming down the hill. When you reach the corner, you have, you know, the, the highway. Okay. Two police come in from two directions. Can you believe this here? This is madness, brother. One from that way and one from the other way. And somehow, two motorbike, eh? the two of them are motorbike. And somehow they crash into one another. And the two of them die. Right at it at the junction there, the man. Going up the bubble hill. The same time the police them um arrest the bubble them and King Emmanuel bringing them down. You ever hear anything like that? I tell you, I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many other things yeah man the man have a lot of things I mean I can go on and on and on and on of the mystic some of them so mystic it to you you just sound like nah man that nothing can go so that too much there too much I could understand why people feel so and that's why I'm happy that's why I'm happy that we did that program with the testimony of all these people doctor historians will testify of, of what the King Emmanuel go through. So now when we say father have a three story building and he just get up and brush off himself and, and the father say, well, now it's time to do my work. It's not hard to believe. Not all, all hard to believe in that. Not after we, we hear that account there or all of those accounts. And let me show you, there's a scripture there. I think it's in the book of Thomas. I, I will look it up, man, and find it. Some of you know it. It's about the infant Christ. You hear me good now? Please listen to me. I, I should have had that pull up, but you see, this is Charlie Stark. You know, so it's not we go and we just set ourselves with this. The only thing I have is this video that I want to show you what I want to show you. But in this scripture, those of you who know it, I know you can verify this. That the little Christ, as a young child, he had a friend. And him and the friend, oh, fall asleep on me, you know, you know. Oh. he and the friend were on a roof. And Christ, you know, Christ, the little baby Christ, let me not profane the name, push his friend off the roof and kill him. I want to do it at all. And, 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 when the people come and say, oh, yeah. how you push um, what's his name off the roof? I wish I remember his name. That's why it's good to have these scriptures because I know his name would have a mystic to it. But anyway, so you push him off the roof and Christ came and brought him back to life. I think he demanded of him now to tell them that I didn't kill you because they were saying, you kill him. And he said, no, I didn't kill him. I don't think he said I didn't push him off. He said, no, I didn't kill him. He's not dead. And he said, yeah, you kill him. And no, let me show you. And he bring him to life and say, um, tell them that you're not dead. Something of the sort. And no, I'm not dead. I'm, I'm alive. And, and, you know, they're like, wow. Now that story sounds very similar to even what King Emmanuel went through. It might be him alone. Maybe, you know, see the Christ that pushed him off the roof or whatever. And, and people thought that he was dead. And but he's still him, you know, he's the same Christ, but still the one that get pushed off the roof. That's in one of those books that they take out of the Bible. That's in one of them books that they take out of the Bible. Constantine and, and the other fella said, well, no, 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 this one looks very plain. This is very plain. We don't want this one. Leave that allegorical stuff in there. But put this one aside, which is allegory to it, eh? but allegory of what? So you see the same thing taking place here, at least from my perspective, really, you know. Charlie Stark, we're definitely going to be open Charlie Stark very soon, you know, man. You know, and um, um, looking forward to ones joining the, the the edition. But anyway, I will talk about that a little more. Let me show you the video, man. Let's just watch this video here. I'm gonna take a draw while we watch it. Just for a little bit, maybe it's three minutes. Just observe everything. This is 19, I think 87. Uh, Bobo Shanti Hill, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards there. 
giving a, a, a rendition there to the congregation. As I said, this is taken from the Edson, Ed, Edson Crump YouTube channel. Definitely you could check it out for many other things directly highlighting King Emmanuel Charles Edwards episodes and documentaries. Yeah, highlighting the Honorable King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, Honorable Priest Kushiba, even definitely outside of sparking the way um, for I and I, but also being a part of some of the 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 um, the editing of my early works within such a craft. Let's follow this. Holy Emmanuel eyes. Let's see. Ja, that's the that's the Charles Tom. So it may be a bit low, you know. To be very honest. Well, I mean, you could uh, hold on. I mean, you could try your best to understand and hear. I'm, I honestly am not here to to interpret what he is saying there. Oh my God, me. as such. But there's a specific part where I I'm going to highlight what he's saying. But it's not really just to give you word for word exactly what he's saying. But if you could pick it up, it would be good for you. If not, some other time, you know, sometimes people always ask, remember this is Chalice talking. So we just hold in a mess. Sometimes people always ask like, can somebody interpret what King Emmanuel is saying? And you know, I guess maybe to do a caption or something. That'll be a good idea. I mean, if nobody does it, maybe eventually we'll get to it. But you see, that's what it's all about. Everyone, Everyone have to put their hand to this thing, eh? Yeah, they, those that understand what he's saying even maybe more than me. You know, not to say that they're the ones that are supposed to do it, you know. Yeah. All right, Master Father. But anyway, let us continue. Okay. Let me show you. This is what I found quite mystic. It's a very simple thing. Eh? But just taking in consideration all what we just said, but it's a very simple thing. Eh? Not to blow your mind and like, wow. Yeah, simple thing. So even if you you don't think it's what I thought, what I look at it as, you, you, you know, have, don't take it too far. Very simple thing. Now, you have a lot of banners around. Eventually, he's going to start to talk about the banners. Now, this up here, this is um, it's a red, gold, and green banner. has about seven black five points star in it, eh? I tell you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's another thing. Eh? Some of them banners are different. But anyway, it's a red, gold, and green banner with seven black five point star. And the, the video is a windy, just like the hike sense of today, very windy. And, you know, so from time to time, the wind pick up a bit. That's natural. Now, this banner, the same red, gold, and green banner, is actually tied up around the pole. In fact, it's tied up there for a long time. Every time the camera comes on it, I'm telling you that it has been tied up there for a very long time. Just tied up there. Okay. Now, King Emmanuel is going to be speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking. And as they say, I kid you not. I kid you not. He's going to say the royal banners over our head. And as he say over our head, the banner just release and start to fly. Now, what's interesting, there's no gush of wind because even the other banners here actually will be kind of drooping down, those that are free. Now, it's going to get tied up again at some time, you know, but it tied up for a long time. And as he say, the royal banners, and he actually said, over our head, it's over his head, and the banner just release. 
Oh, it's just a coincidence. I, I don't, I'm not asking you what it is. I'm telling you what happened. You don't have to explain it's a coincidence. Because we can all see it coincide where we don't see it yet. You, let me show it to you anyway. So let, let, let's go. Let's go. This is up here. This is not the full, it's kind of tied down. It's wrapped around me. For a while. Just take it from me. You can watch the video if you want to get, you know. Bees and the wasp, he said. Archangel. Hold on, hold on. Not this banner here, you know. This, see the, like the pole going up here? This one here, watch it go. This one that tie up here. Not these that are close by. This one that's tie up here. I tell you that tie up at least however long the video is, it just tie up there. I just have to say it again. Now, I want to be clear because there's a red, gold, and green banner. Don't, don't run away. There's a red, gold, and green banner here that at times it comes in the way and distorts or gets in the way of the view of what we are watching here. So keep your concentration on that one banner and remember it tap for a long time. That's it. That's it. See it flying there? No, even the cameraman put up to get it. This ain't no joke. Because the cameraman, now obviously the cameraman understand what the father said. The father say the royal banners over our head. So the cameraman put up the, the camera to say, let's watch the royal banners over his head. And by the time the cameraman put up the camera to watch the royal banner over his head, the banner that has been tied up for how long came free at the very moment, just in time for the cameraman to put up the camera of the, and check the banner over his head. Oh, that's a coincidence. That not it's okay, no problem. But it happened to watch it again. Okay, royal banners. Listen to it go. You see, I actually don't even get the first part here. But royal banners. <laughs> Listen again, no feel away. Over our heads. Royal banners over our heads. I'm going to hit it one more time. What the flag? Royal banners. Over our head. As he said, that, as he said, as he said, over our heads, the banner release. Watch it good in the corner. Over our heads, the banner release one time. Watch it. Over our head. Bam. And then it's flowing. The cameraman put up the camera to watch this royal band. Flowing there. Beautiful. Beautiful and with strength. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's the Nigerian flag. I think it's the Nigerian flag. Oh, it's red, red. Maybe. But hey, listen, whatever banner it is, you know, is the one over his head. It's not the color. Okay, now watch this part. See, right there again. But watch this. Watch, watch this family. Okay, we got that part. But I wanted to show you that because the color is not too, it might be the Nigerian, but the color, but I know I've seen red, gold, and green flag with them a lot of stars already. But but it's not the color though, you know, it's not really the color, it's the banner over his head. Just free up to show you the mystic, and that has been tied down for a while. And then now here, listen to this now. Then he's going to speak. He's going to get back to the banners now. 
I think he's going to say the Royal Banners three times. He's going to say something, something, the Royal Banners. And something and the other, the Royal Banners. And then and, and the Royal Banners. And when he say that, a wind is going to come in. And all the banners are going to... In fact, if the audio of this one was better, because we used to have this on DVD where, you know, you could... You, uh, uh, in fact, the, the sound that you have, if you have a good sound system, you would hear how the wind is beating against the microphone and the banners are... When he said the banners and the, all of them free up. Real, 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 real mistake. Real mistake. Remember, this man ain't no joke, man. Two time in history, they carry this man to the mark and the mark send him back in. Twice. And feel no way, I just be in my passion. I love that man from Zion, man. Don't feel no way. Don't be scared. Everything's okay. So watch it now. Hear that? Yeah, the rainbow is in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I. Something earlier. Here's it. He, he the banners. He, that was the first banner. Watch all these banners. Something banner. True banner, watch them. The true banner. Watch them, watch them. Watch them. Look, look at that. Look how they're fluttering so strong. No, 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 no. Tell me. Let's be honest, fam. Oh, my. Let's not, we don't have to be religious. You see, like how the elder Bingy um, brethren's, you know, humble and say, man. We're not watching all what he believe. We just, we just talking about the works. Okay, bam. We don't clarify that. Nobody can diss that. But let's talk about the spirit and the mystic of the man. You, know, you still don't have to believe what he say he be as far as, um, you know what I mean, Melchizedek and so. If you don't have to believe that, it's up to you. I mean, cha, how much Melchizedek done come? I mean... Your outlook of what he so called believe is different than what he believes. Even man as Bobo Shantin, I telling you straight, him, ain't too much of us really. I just using the term believe to just go get the conversation going through. Enough of, us, enough of what many of us believe ain't what King Emmanuel believe him. I, I, I know that, trust me, especially when it comes to the understanding of quote unquote who God really be. The same King Emmanuel tell you, why you tell them about me? Why you didn't tell them about yourself? In fact, why you didn't tell them about the God in them? That's the report we keep getting, isn't it? You know? So so, so we can turn Haile Selassie, uh, or turn Jesus into Haile Selassie and Jesus into King Emmanuel. You know? But King Emmanuel is a mystic being. He'll make you pray over flour and rice and how much pot don't cook and how much people don't eat and it's as if the pot don't move. You know, your priest quote, he say, um, um, uh, how much people, how much people he say get half a dozen jelly? How much people? 200, some kind of big number. <laughs> a half a dozen jelly. You know, he got jelly coconut. Half a dozen coconut. Everybody get a, a taste. How much people? You ever hear anything? That's Priest Court, the man that walked with Jaffa from, from, from such time and see the mystics of the man. So the man have some inner mystics. They may know nothing. I and I, I and I do them kind of mystics there too. Still, not that man, you know what I mean? Just showing you, you know. So this is light work for the king. This is one, the king just talking it. The king just feel the banner need to fly. Ain't nothing big, you know. Ain't nothing for you to go write and put in the mystic books, you know. The king just believe, hey, look, that banner up there tired too long. Wind free it up for me and the banner free up. Nobody can say nothing about that. Thing. They even write nothing and talk no foolishness. The man free up the banner as the black Christ day in flesh. Yeah, everyone man to be boast about it. That's the black Christ. 
That's man, God Almighty, there. Straight up, you can say what you want. Yeah, give thanks, King Emmanuel the Seventh. I told you, I got Jah Rastafari. I even honorable preacher man say even when Gilbert was coming through, all one pack up in King Emmanuel house and the office because everything else blow down. Tabak blow down, food house blow down. That thing they were called kitchen blow down, something else blow down, everybody house blow down, boom field blow down. Well, anything else ever blow down? Everything blow down, fence blow down. No, yeah, go on in the palace there. And all ones free and unfree. All them is mystics and understanding, you know. Gotta have times when you have to overlook things. That's the science of that. But anyway, I ain't going too deep there. But free and unfree. Together, pack up in the, the place there, the office and King Emmanuel Palace. Everything gone, Gilbert, mashing up the hill, mashing up Kingsland, mashing up Jamaica. Yeah. And King Emmanuel is sitting, having a chalice talk. We shimmer and say that after a while, the house star moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you could see the wind lifting up the house, separating it from the, I guess, I uh, not no carpenter really on them levels there, but but from the bottom there, wherever the foundation is, wood separating from wood or whatever. And but whatever it is, you could see that the house ready to go flying like everything else. And he said, we tell me eh, that King Emmanuel said, Marcos is me in here. And he said, he see the house drop like bang. Let's, let's go back and <laughs> and that was it. Everything all right until all the wind stopped blow. I don't doubt none of them things. None of them things I doubt. None of them things. Everything I have to see. I see enough. You see what he just do a while ago? The man say I need them other banners to fly to. He talked to them. Royal banners. Not the one over the head. Those in front. Something, something royal banners. And the royal banners is droop, they were drooping, you know. Droop, they were drooping. Droop, they were drooping. After he let go the other one. Let me give you the overall head one more time. Royal banners, overall head. Yes, I. Flying so pretty. Okay. This, you ain't flying. This is there, you know. Okay, see how they there? They the cool. You ain't doing this thing. Okay. Royal banners. Rainbow in the sky. Yes. Flying for a while. Eh? Then he fly down. Okay. Listen. Some big banners. Listen. Watch them. Watch them. Two banners. Two banners. Two banners. Look at that. Got that red, gold, and green, red, black, and green come alive. You know. Yeah, man. Not me, that one hot, eh, but trust me, the one with the one over the head, just the way that it smoothly let go. You didn't take no heavy wind. You didn't take no heavy wind. In fact, plenty of wind was blowing, and it did tie up, tie up, tie up, tie up, tie up. Tie up. The royal banner over our head. I give thanks, eh? To be a volunteer for Negus, my lord. You gonna have to come good. Not even good. Why you think I moved this year? I am man talking about debate. I so glad I ease off of that big debate thing that maybe I'll be killing people. Yeah, man, I'll have people faint and can heart attack. Cause there's nothing, I don't care what you believe, eh? Nothing, nothing, even if it's semi-rasta or whatever, nothing theologically can stand up whatever which way you want to turn the color of this and the color of that and which day sabbath and not and who is this all them talks can talk forever but this here is the real deal i tell him the eye king emmanuel Ada, trust me holy emmanuel I, Selassie, I, ja, Rastafari. i feel not intimidated i just tell you how i feel so yes, so, uh, my family, give thanks for the Sabbath day. I think this is a good time for us to step up. I hope you're going to be definitely um, 
you're going to be a part of the the fullness of the summer solstice experience as i say definitely you should uh, you can just contact us uh, via the you should send the cash app as well if you have cash app available at an 27 23 after you do that you definitely contact us uh, and we will uh, give you the key so you could look at the first two days activities and of course prepare yourself for sunday where we will be live it will be a nice watch for the sabbath too you know and of course if you contact us just email me and say well i don't do the cash app thing and i'll tell you what to do and uh, whatever the case is for sure we'll make sure you get your key so that you'll be there with us live sunday as well and you could watch what has taken place it's definitely as you could see for yourself it's definitely a good watch and uh, bringing you to us something that we do every year but we invite people to come in but you don't know how it goes with mr covid and mrs corona so that has changed a lot of the vibes that has been taking place around here hence we brought in the whole aspect of the virtual tour and the virtual experience and we are very thankful for those who are, have been a part of this experience give thanks for brother ian brown and and give thanks for sister um uh, empress empress judah as well enough respect to such give thanks for for all the ones you know brother david for linking in and all the ones that have you know been with us during that experience for sure make sure you get your chalwa make sure you get your chalice you know make sure you get your whatever size it is that you desire and the contact is still the same free size at 27 at gmail.com all right family as i said give thanks to the honor of king emmanuel charles edwards and such an order that he has definitely given us that we shall grow with you know i'm looking forward to have some real heavy chalice talks in the future you know calling one and all for sure you know sometimes i feel like i have to reach out to people internationally you know as it relates to you know, coming and sitting and supping with us i mean it's a tiger's nest but we ain't gonna bite you but anyway hey give thanks blessed sabbath to one and all love in the house blessed love to you and your family and as i said to all those keeping up this order you know heart of love and, and those seeking for the truth continue to seek and ask the father and the mother of creation to guide you because definitely, I know for sure, if you have a genuine heart, you won't be led wrong. Holy man, you will rise. Last year, I just passed by. Thousand Sabbath.